I've obviously always loved art and had a, had a huge passion for it and I, I do remember really clearly when I was working in the corporate world taking a client to some galleries in San Fran and I was meant to be you know walking a few steps behind and allowing the client to take the art in and I, I know that I got more out of that than Mark Rothko pieces I sat in front of them and had tears in my eyes just thinking oh should I be working now but there's no way I could break from the energy of the work and, and really I think at that moment I realised that there was more than just something small going on for myself with art. I'm quite superstitious about my materials and my brushes. What I wear on certain days when I'm painting, I really need, the paintings and the stories belong to me and it, it has to feel like it's my body is part of that process. It was almost like I had taken on a lover in it and it felt amazing at that time and I'd be painting and, and feeling like it was just so natural and, and real for me and then I guess it was almost a process of sobering up and going back to the reality of what my commercial life was in the corporate world and sort of feeling very wrong about going back to that and, and more and more so toward the end. What really made things change very quickly, I was quite unwell, I was diagnosed five years ago with a benign brain tumour. So quite difficult and really not able to carry on the level of um, the level of work that I was doing in the corporate world. So that was the catalyst and, and quite fortuitous now really when I look back. It was actually quite terrifying and a big point in life where I think it, I cut my teeth on some harsh realities around what's important and, and how important it is to be yourself and uh, really just to step in you know, and be my real self for the first time as an adult and do what I'm meant to do. Today I'm four years down the track of, of being a professional artist and what that's actually led to is also the unfolding and unfurling of, um, of a large print studio where we work with currently around 14 um, Australian and one US artist in producing their limited edition artworks and the leasing of those, the sale of those. Art just brings another whole dimension and the people that we're talking with every day in terms of leasing and buying art for corporate spaces. It's beautiful to think that people are starting to understand that you have real humans working there and they need, they really need the energy from something that's quite beautiful and poetic in order to be human. Melbourne's just the most incredible culture and I feel like, you know, on my trips to Europe, I think Melbourne's more Europe than Europe, you know. <laughs> Especially the coffee and the breakfast, but this city's riddled with art. It doesn't matter where you are in Melbourne, there's just art everywhere. And um, I think it's it's the laneways, it's the restaurants, it's just the total vibe. And such an incredible group of painters that do live and work in Melbourne, and we all get them very well. We collaborate, we catch up, we have you know drinks and meals. Um, it's it's a very beautiful city to conduct an art business and have a practice in. And I'm always really proud to tag everything I do with Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. It's just, um, it's just something I always do.